Hi everybody, it's Michelle with Comfy Cozy Living. Today I am bringing to you my haul from uh, Friday morning's rummage sales. So let's just jump right in, shall we? I'm not sure I'm going to be going in any particular order, so we'll just have at it. First thing I got, well not the first thing, I, one of the things I got was this nubby pink rug for, honestly, um, I think probably my bedroom. Yeah. So, it's huge, or well I shouldn't say it's huge, but there, pretty big. And I think I got it for $2. So that is for me. Yeah. And... I don't know what order anything is from. I can't tell you. I can't really remember. And I'm going to have to put my readers on because I'm going to contact them today. So then I got this cute little bag. It's very boho. It's like a denim. But then it's, and it's got this zipper. Um, like here, this little pocket. Uh, did I close it just now? So it's got like a zipper pocket, and then it's got this opening, and then it's this. That is uh, red. Oh, there. With those cute bells. Just a nice little crossover. Um, so I'm going to try to pile it up right there. Okay, and then I got these. I don't know if these are like a coasters you know like for each setting or something but there are five of them that I got so or wait six one two three four five six yeah they're a light green pale green sort of um maybe not the greatest lighting because it's night when I'm posting or filming this so anyhow there's that Um, then there's this, um, it's called Luba's Ukrainian Egg Decorating Kit. And this box has all this, like, paperwork for all this symbolism and stuff. And then the different, um, designs. And then there's instructions and all this and then there is this like I don't know what that is and these sticks and then there's all these like envelopes of the dye I think yeah all the different colors are in here see so this will be um in my uh holding <laughs> cell till like Easter time <laughs> Um, I think I got, uh, I think I got these things all at a rummage sale with that pink thing. I can't remember. This I know it was from, um, this, um, estate sale that I went to. Um, I think this sticker was Japan. I can't really tell. Napco. It's Napco. I'm sorry. Um. I mean, I think she had a little accident with, maybe she had a hat on, but she's still cute, right? She's a little rough around the edges, just one chip right here, but look at her. <laughs> I mean, you don't see something like that every day, so, yeah. Uh, and then I picked this up. She's, I'm not really sure anything about her right now, other than, like, her legs are plastic. They're, like, a rubbery plastic. So she's got this cute little outfit on. So she's, like, some kind of little, um, you know, international 
girl. Little girl of some international descent. I'm not exactly sure. She's a cute little freckle face girl. So, yeah. Um, I got this, um, this dish. I'm not really sure uh, much about it, except that I just found a flippin' chip. Well, just found a chip right here. But it's still an awesome dish. I mean, you could definitely use this even. It doesn't have to be for food stuff. It could be for, you know, a nice display at Christmas time or whatever. Or, you know, anytime. It would be great for candles and all that stuff, too. So, um, I got this just because, I mean, vintage Christmas. I always pick up any little bits I can if I can find them. Saving one piece of vintage plastic at a time. And obviously one of the little pieces right here got sacrificed along the way. And now there was a lot of Christmas stuff in this one. Oh, let me, I'm going to try to pick this box up. Um, and I, you know, I'm never sure. But then I'm like, you know, let me just grab it for somebody that might really like this. I mean, it's not everybody's thing, but maybe it's yours. So there's this little, it's kind of like that Christopher Radko kind of stuff. Um, little alligator fishing. <laughs> so even thought of Alex a little bit. He's wearing a pink thing, like a pink, um... What do you call it? Like a tourist tourist shirt. And then there's this owl. Um, I know everybody loves their owls. So I just thought, well, you know, I'll grab this. It's nice. Um, this I got at a different rummage sale for myself. Yeah. I think. I'm keeping that. Um even though they wrote on it. You know, you can't help some people are going to do what they want to do. Now back to the um, estate sale that I was at. I got this piece, which is gorgeous. It has a chip. I don't think you're going to recognize it right away. This is, I've been told this is Hall. And I believe it actually, because it's pretty gorgeous. Um, it's like, I would call this more of a sky blue. And the edges like of a, uh, um, like a gray blue sort of so you got your fish you got like your waves you get your big like shell and then it's that planter it's gorgeous right so you can't really see where the problem is too well can you and it's because it's right here and that's it it's just like that little last little flipped you know pointed piece maybe of the wave, I guess. So, yeah. Unless it's supposed to be this, like, fish. The tail all the way around. I don't know. Maybe. It's a gorgeous piece, though, isn't it? I mean, it really is. Um, I... <sighs> my friend saw it. And she was, like, yelling at herself later. She's like, I should have just grabbed it. Like, she was pointing to it, but I was busy looking at something else. And, you know, sometimes you're just not sure what to put down because you don't really know where the next treasure lies sometimes. So, let me tell you. She put it down. I bent down to look at what I was looking at. I come up, and this lady next to me grabbed it. And I was like, are you freaking kidding? And I even said something, like, so she could hear and I go, well, I guess I'm not getting it. And, and my friend was like, what? She's like, I was just, oh, I should have just, you know. And then she got up to the checkout. And then I guess she saw that chip. And she was like, no. So then she came and she said, if you want it, you can have it. It's got a chip. And I'm like, you don't even see that chip. This is a beautiful piece of pottery. Whatever. I was like, fine. Peace out, sister. So, anyhow. I got this. I mean, it it's either a very small table covering or it's like some kind of 
towel or long. Let me see if it says here. I don't think it does. I can't see. Hmm. Put my glasses on. Printed in Thailand. No, nope, I don't know. So anyhow, it says um, South Mali Island, something like that. So I thought it was pretty with these birds and the flowers and the colors. And that's that side with the sailboat guy, guys, and these flowers and stuff. I am sure that somebody in Florida is going to like this. Um, so I thought I had come across some pretty good things lately. Um, so I was happy with uh, finding this. So, yeah. I mean, it's not like the most vibrant of colors, but it, it's pretty vibrant, I would say. It's, you know, it's, I think it's nice. Uh, this book I got. Um, it doesn't have a back page. Um, I'm just, let me see if I can get this price tag off here. I haven't even honestly looked at it, to be honest. Uh, <laughs> and this makes me think of uh, my friend Laura, because she doesn't know that I know, but she likes pandas. Funny, somebody wrote something else on it. Anyhow, it says, Life begins for Andy Panda. He is an oldie. Oldie. Look at this beginning. A little bit of creepy looking thing. Um, gosh. Why does it have to be in Roman numerals? Copyright M C M X L. I, that's like beyond my. No. It's got some nice um, pictures. There are some colored pictures in here. There are black and white pictures in here. And like I said, it just doesn't have a back to it. But it's sweet, isn't it? Isn't it? I got this for myself. Because I think this will be good for my hair. Yep. For my hair. And, ooh, I got these. For, Val or for Halloween time. I guess they're not as old as I was hoping because they have a UPC. Um, but I also have a store tag. This bag is not open. It's some old treat, trick or treat bags. So I might have to look into that because I mean that just because it has a UPC doesn't mean it's not old. It's still old. But, um, you know, it's not as old as some things. This, I just thought, I don't know, it's, it was just a cool bowl. It's a coconut shell on the outside, and it's this cool blue on the inside. Very light. I thought, neat. Neat, neat, neat. Got this little bag. This is another good like little flea market thing where you can just um, you know put your chain your your money in there or whatever and have it you know money and your like keys and your lip balm or whatever and um, throw it over your shoulder and there you go. Yeah, cute. Or you know just hang it up in your place and have it look kind of cool. 
Um, this is just, I just couldn't leave this little guy. It was just, where was this? This might have been the same place I found the, oh, the, the frogs I got to get to show you. Yeah, so, just this little dog. He's so cute. Yeah, yeah he was at a, yeah, Bella. Okay, you're fine. Just go back, go back. Go back to where, go, go sit down. This, what was this? I forget. I just saw this case and I thought it was cool. Oh yeah, it's like an abacus. Um, I don't know what these tags are. These are just some old tags on here. But they mean nothing. They're like probably from, like if this was at like a, some kind of store before. Anyhow. Um. Well, some little black piece of paint or something just came off of here. Bella, just stop. And then this goes in here. And, I mean, I just think it is a neat looking case. Then I got these, oh yeah, I got all that. Three, grab one. How weird is that? I'll just show you the bottom. There's three of these. I'll show you the bottom of this one. Three hall, hall, blah, three hall mugs. They're made in USA. It says 1872. I don't know really what that means. That I don't think that would be the, the year, but you know, or something like that. They're very pretty, aren't they? They kind of feel like that, um, giving me that Irish cream kind of vibe. Bella, stop. Just a minute. I've been gone all day, so. Oh. Let me show these that I got. Um. These will be in Thursday sale. Some snowflake earrings. I got this pin, really pretty blue. This will be in Thursday's sale. Pin. This is so cute. This will be in Thursday's sale. And this will be in Thursday's sale. this belt now you can use it as a belt or you can use it as um, like you could just hang it on your wall and have it look like that cool whatever you could use it for whatever you really want um, or you can like use it as like a drape pull you know like if you have cool curtains or like some um, fabric like you know if you tear fabric and you have like a little bit of like a bunting kind of garland and if you just want to kind of like have something to swag it back with, you could use this like as your swag. I mean, you could make more than one swag out of this even if you really want to because it, it's pretty, you know, look at that's, yeah, so it's pretty cool. Then there's this thing. Um, this would make an awesome body pillow. Look at that. It's very long, right? It says freighter malt on it. And I believe it says Milwaukee. Yeah, buddy. On this other side here, it says Bemis, not Bemos. Bemis Seamless. So, yeah, I'm, I think this is a pretty cool piece. I mean, you can make pillows out of this. This is some very nice material here. You can make a body pillow, you know, not a body pillow. You can make like a, you know, like a bolster pillow or a couple or regular pillows or, I mean, you can make so much out of this. I'm telling you what. This <laughs> is 
um, a skirt, okay? It's orange with this gold, okay? It's a wrap skirt, see? And there's like a hole that, so you would put it on and you would wrap it and you put that through and then you got it going around you. But, then at the bottom it's got this beautiful, you know, more gold with the, with the elephants. So what do you think I'm going to tell you this is? Well, it ain't, I'm not going to tell you it's a, a skirt. I mean, sure, it's a skirt for somebody. I don't know who because they they don't have a size anywhere on here. Honestly, this it's nicely made. I just don't see a tag anywhere on it. Um, but I would be using this as some, like, really super cool wall hanging or window treatment. This is a lot of fabric here, as I'll tell you got this one little mark on it and I don't know that might come out I don't know so yeah I think um, uh, <laughs> I think that's really some beautiful fabric oh then I got what is this oh yeah I got my I don't know I guess I got this for my daughter it's just one of those Patagonia shirts. I hope she's gonna like it. I don't know. And then I got myself a pair of jeans. I hope they'll fit. I have no clue. I think I got them pretty good priced, so I thought, yeah, well, we'll give it a shot, right? So anyhow, um, yeah, that's it uh, for, I think, um, I don't know, like a handful of rummage sales and an estate sale. A couple places that we went to were not there. Like, they were advertised to be. So, that was a little bit of a disappointment. But, um, honestly, it, it gave us time to add, end up having lunch. And, um, you know, when you have lunch with your bestie, that's all, that's all you need. It's all you need sometimes. So, that's all I've got for you today. And I, um, I hope that you guys enjoyed it. I hope you are, um, looking forward to finding some of these items at the sales. Um, some of these will be in the Christmas sale. And some of them will be waiting for future sales. So, um, yeah, as a matter of fact, there's going to be some of them waiting for Easter and, and Halloween. So I really, uh, I really went across the board today or Friday. <laughs> and Christmas. So if there is anything in particular that you love, tell me what it was. Tell me how much you love this, even though it's got a little flaw. I mean, this thing, oh, it's a little heavy too, but it's gorgeous. Anyway, everybody. Thank you for spending your time with me on this haul. And um, I hope that you make sure to give me a thumbs up on it. And if you're not subscribed to my channel, please do. I will be um, talking about the giveaway uh, this week because I have um, surpassed the 500 subscriber mark, which I'm super thrilled about. And um, honestly, I feel like I need to uh, really charge it up so that I can get to that thousand mark by the end of the year, which will mark my one year. And wouldn't that be a fantastic way to have that anniversary? So let's keep on keeping on. Share my channel with anyone that you think might enjoy it. And let's see. Don't forget to leave me a comment down below. Tell me what you really liked out of this haul. Tell me what else you want me to find in future hauls. Okay. That's it, everybody. Have a great day, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye!